always and I will of course should I say unfailingly pray in the language of heaven some may misunderstand some of them may try to misconstrue but one thing is certain right now in the presence of the Almighty God Elohim Adonai El Shaddai in heaven the angels are singing worshiping and praising the Most High with the very oldest language on the face of this very evil language and that's how I'm going to pray Is your young one in a chinek and nanka prumian in a chupoki cap yama bonan in a penacoja hands or no banana chick? Don't you want a madden in the river? Don't you want a banana or caca? But you make I need to get a wedding gossip. My little no woo. The boy will talk to you, young one. Whom you wear back on one in a when I was your man, keep your money in his hand. Then I know madden nanka bread and gossip. And you were asking the way how I can you want your beneath no banana park or saucer. Come on, I didn't do. Oh, for but I nigga, woman, no, 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 no Nasi ni mohon doa ni ni yang kita layak hansol. Ibu ini yang sokong untuk ni zaman ini. Ni hanya untuk cuaca untuk kita. Hanya wajan yang farus. Orang ini juga nak kosong sokong kuat ini. Oh biar mereka IPO itu juga bangun orang pun orang ini. Nanya nanya tu cuma ada dendu. Ayuh ibu ini tu kerja untuk kita. Kosong sih kita bikin kubatan yang saya ni mak. Oh pernah lagi. Ibu ni ni pun banyak pisah lagi. Ibu ni nak potong lagi. No pun kita pun susu. Ayuh ibu ni ni juga pun nam sokong. Nai zaman nasi lekwa kan biu lagi ni nak kasih susu bahon. Having handed over our proceedings to heaven, we must therefore proceed unfailingly and very speedily to preach this very gospel that we have been mandated to preach. Welcome my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much and remain blessed. Remember, in this channel, we say it the way it is, express ourselves and express the views of the people. The opinion of the people, that is what we discuss about. The most important thing, we talk about it the way it is. We do not hide under any political correctness. We say it the way it is. It doesn't matter who is concerned. We bring the issue of the indigenous tribe in the country from called Nigeria to the front burner. We bring it to the world for them to know what is exactly happening in that country from called Nigeria. A lot of issues are going on. Here we speak up for the Biafran, speak up for the Dudwan, speak up for the Middle Better, speak up for everyone that is genuinely looking for freedom in the construction of Nigeria. That is our business here, to say it the way it is. 
while we are bringing the issue of the people to the front burner, we have to continue to do the normal thing we are supposed to do. Continue to pray along with us through the the Khan. It doesn't matter if you are a Biafran or you are not a Biafran. You can join the prayer. We are moving ahead. We are on the last phase of the prayer. If you have not joined, please kindly join the prayer. It is not yet late. That is the only way you can be able to be consistent and be able to overcome the trials and temptations that are coming. As you all know, the struggle for Biafra restoration have gone to a different level. It is now on a different level. It doesn't matter what anybody say. It doesn't matter what people say. Now people are acting on their own. The spirit of Biafra have possessed everybody and people are now willing, coming out openly to act on their own on how to get Biafra. And it is a positive sign that we are heading home. When our brother Simon Eber came to his broadcast and he said, autopilot, many people misunderstood him. But as the day goes by, you begin to understand the meaning of autopilot. Autopilot doesn't have anything to do with leadership. He was talking about what is happening. The spirit of Biafra possessing people to do what they are supposed to do at every given time. Many people are working strong for Biafra. It doesn't matter. Even those who are not members of IPOB, even people who are not Biafras, they are fighting. Even our enemies are working for our own good, unknowingly. That is the spirit of Biafra. It has taken over. No matter what people say, no matter what, do, they, what they do, we will continue to move forward and Biafra will come very soon. The capture or the kidnap of our Supreme Leader Martin Nandikano cannot stop the struggle for Biafra. It makes the struggle for Biafra stronger. It makes many people aware of what is going on. It makes us more stronger, makes us to fight more, to double our effort. If you think, whoever you are, and you think you, you, you want to make the Biafra a laughing stock, or you think that those who are fighting for their freedom don't know what they're doing, we know what we're doing. And it doesn't matter the propaganda you push out there, you cannot bring us down. You can't bring us down. We know whom we are following. We know the person that Chukwu Kukabiyama have appointed for us, our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandikam, and we are following him. Every full step and every foundation that he has laid down for us to follow, we are following. As it stands now, the only man in that very contraption corner, the only man that has the solution to the problem of the contraption corner Nigeria is our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandikam. He alone, no one else. Every other person can come there and begin to speak a lot of grammars on their national television. You see, they speak grammar. More especially, people from the southern part of Nigeria, they come to national television, they speak a lot of grammar. They can spend hours sounding good on their theory. But when it comes to practical, they will never put anything in practice. When it comes to theory, a, an ordinary Nigerian man, the one Nigerian is, will tell you how to make Nigeria work instantly, and you will see it playing out. But when it comes to practical, they have no solution whatsoever. The only man that had the solution to the problem of that contract called Nigeria is our Sunni Lamazi Nandikano. He was not only talking, he's not only preaching, he is acting. And he has put a lot of things in place to make sure that the indigenous tribe in the country of Nigeria regain their freedom. All we have to do is to follow his footstep. If you refuse to follow that footstep, you are going to find it very, very difficult and you will lose your life if care is not taken. It doesn't matter the propaganda they push out there. It doesn't matter what they do. We know that there are a lot of missionaries who are working against the freedom of people in that country called Nigeria. A lot of missionaries, even from the southern part of Nigeria, many of them are from the southern part of Nigeria, mainly from the southeast, working against the freedom of their friends, working against the freedom of the Juduans, working against the freedom of indigenous tribes in that country called Nigeria. You see them, they can't even hide their shame anymore. They are so scared because they know that very soon people are going to be free. They are so scared. Now they are acting openly on different forums. Each time you interview them, the, what comes out of your mouth will show you that these ones don't mean well for anyone. They are scared. But it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. Biafra must surely be free. We will be free. We will definitely be free. And the freedom is very close. It is closer than ever. Closer than you can ever know. That is why we have to continue doing everything we have to do to make sure we actualize, actualize Biafra. And the, remember the format that our Sunni Lamar had kept down for us. Unity of the southern part of Nigeria. This is the time to unite. It is not time to antagonize anybody. It is not time to talk against somebody. It is not time to talk against some let alone your own brother who is fighting the same cause with you. This is not the time to look back. This is not the time. Anybody that is not against us is for us. But when you stand against us, we come against you. 
anybody that is speaking up on his platform about Biafra, speaking up for Odudua, speaking up for the Middle Belt, speaking up for the indigenous people of that very country called Nigeria, we are on one page and we will continue to support them. This is not the time to fight. It doesn't matter. Some people feel that the strategy of our Sunna Mazin Nadikano is too tough for them that they cannot handle it. It is too tough for them for the handle. But for those of us who can handle it, we are following him bomber to bomber and no going back. When you feel it is too strong for you, go to your own way and follow your own strategy. Pursue your own strategy. The worst one thing that will happen to you is that when you begin to condemn the strategy of Asuna Mazin Nadikano through IPOB, and then you don't have anything to offer. You don't have anything to offer. The only thing we know that you will be an instrument in the hand of the Jejawi. That is what you have. Because you have nothing to offer. But when you know that you are really fighting for freedom and you want yourself to be free, freedom, does, freedom is not handed over to anybody. It is not handed over to anybody in the platter of gold. You have to work for it. It takes a lot of sacrifice. People give their life to, for freedom. And that is exactly what IPOB have been doing for Biafra. Giving their life, putting their life on the line. A lot of sacrifice have been made. Many people have given their life for Biafra. You can see what our Supreme Ambassador Nadekano is going through today. Our Supreme Ambassador Nadekano, if he decides to stay on his own and do whatever he wants to do on his own without minding any other person, he will live a comfortable life. Our Supreme Ambassador Nadekano, don't forget, he is a prince. He is a prince. A U.S. citizen. He is not, he's not, he's, 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 he's not just another person in the street. He has his own life, living a good life. He has his own job. He has things he's doing. But he left it to come and fight for you and I. If he decides to live like an ordinary person like you and I, he will live a comfortable life, have everything that he needs. But yes, he pushed us in aside. And today, he is standing trial for you and I. He is standing trial for you and I. And yet, you don't see the reason why you should use your platform to speak about Biafra. You don't see the reason why you should use your platform to speak for Dudua. Today, some of the Igbo war is standing in prison, standing trial for the Ududua people in the Republic. Some of the Igbo war arrested in the Republic, detained in prison today because of Ududua in the Republic. And still, you will see somebody standing against him, talking trash against him. It is only the devil incarnate, the full and the stooge, those ones whom they are using. They are the ones who stand against this, these freedom fighters. People who have stood up and said that we will not die. Instead of us dying, they give their own life. And yet, you are there sleeping. You want to hand over the suffering to your children. You want to hand over the suffering to your own generation. We will not allow that. We will continue to speak the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what anybody do. We cannot relent in our effort on what we are doing. The political set in the south part of Nigeria, more especially the southeast, they can push all their propaganda for all I care. It will never fly. You see the, 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 you see the game they are playing. You see what they are doing with their so-called Muhammad Abu the imposter in Asaram, inviting many more states. You have seen every clip that comes from Imo State and what they were saying. It was all rubbish and lie. They are not speaking for the people. They are speaking for their own self, for their own selfish interest. For their own selfish interest. These were people who were, more especially Mohane Zendibu. This is Mohane Zendibu who was shouting of Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency, that Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency. Finally, when they saw the president in their arena, they were not even bold enough to make demand of that presidency. They were not bold. The restructuring was not even mentioned. They weren't even able to bold enough to mention restructuring in their meeting. That is to show you that these people are a bunch of cowards, a bunch of idiots, playing a script of the weed. Go and check all the statements that they made within that very time Buhari was there. Go and check all that they read to Buhari. Every speech they read to Buhari, you will never see where they mention the right of the Igbos to produce presidency. You will never see where they mention the issue of restructuring. This is why our Sunni Muslim Nandekano do not listen to these people because they are a bunch of, bunch of wicked men who do not have their people at heart. What they are concerned is about their own personal agenda. Each time you see them talking about Igbo president, they are buying a time for themselves, seeking attention for themselves. And it has now shown. You saw the 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 the, 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 uh, the idiot in Imo State. You saw the monster in Imo State. What he was saying when he was interviewed by Channel Television. He has nothing to offer. He has nothing to offer to his own people. 
they were not there to fight for their people they were there for their own clique for their own meeting you are talking about fighting for apc apc that you know that is an al-qaeda congress a terrorist organization a well-known terrorist organization apc go and check people who are in apc members of terrorist groups are there members of the terrorist people who are sponsoring terror in nigeria they are the ones who owns that party and yet somebody is joining them telling them you called a meeting you invited a terrorist into our arena to come and give him the secret on how to kill us the more it will never be with you. it will never be well with you hope it will never be well with you and you will pay for your own life for every soul that you have killed in Imo state you have continued to kill people in Imo state a lot of people are missing as i'm speaking to you now a lot of people are still missing as i'm speaking to you as i'm speaking to you many people have been arrested house their house burnt families wiped away in Imo state in at the command of hope of the man at the command of Hobus of the Muma, who is supposedly be, supposed to be a Biafran, supposed to be somebody from Imo State, killing his own brother to please his Fulani Janjawi. Even when the southern governors came together and announced a bound of open grazing, Hobus of the Muma chickened out and said he's not part of it. How many of them in the southeast have signed that bill today? How many? How many of them have signed that bill? How many of them have signed that bill? That is how bad the southeastern part of Nigeria is. Every other region are flourishing. They are doing much better. The southwest, at least, they are doing much better. They can stand up their own. Look at Benue State. The man is fighting day and night for his own people. And yet, in the southeastern part of Nigeria, the only thing we have to hear, the only thing our governors have to offer us is to come, come on online and tell us that they have members of terrorist group in their government. Anambra State Governor came out boldly to say that he has members of terrorist group in his government. When I was in the the Kano decided to protect the southeastern part of Nigeria, even told them, go and get me restructuring why I do what I'm doing. They could not be able to do it. What they did was to invite the Python dance to come and kill Asula Mazin the Kano, to take him out. Instead of doing the normal thing, instead of going to fight for the people, they came back to fight against the people. They wanted to kill a certain man that now they can't. It wasn't enough for them. They now proscribed IPOB. They proscribed every every, every Biafran. The governors in the South East Nigeria that came together and proscribed every Biafran. Every of their citizens. They proscribed all of us. They proscribed all of us. Up to date and they are standing on it. But look at the North. The North, they are protecting their terrorists. Protecting their terrorists from all angles. Negotiating with them. Giving them fun. Now they are talking about rehabilitation of Boko Haram. Even commanders of Boko Haram who has killed well-known one, they are negotiating with them, giving them salary, recruiting them, to, recruiting them into the army. But in the South East Nigeria, what they do is to kill us and make sure we do not have a voice. And they want us to be silent and begin to look. Well, Chukwu Kukabiyama has taken charge of our struggle. And everybody who is a betrayer in that universal struggle will surely pay with his or own life. Definitely they will pay. They will pay. They can't go free. Who, uh, uh, what do you call him? Anambra State Governor. Obiano came out now to threaten the banks for complying with IPOB, IPOB shit at home. He's threatening the bank that he's going to shut them down. Any bank that open that do not open on the day or sit at home, that he's going to shut it down. Shut it back down. Go and shut the banks down. Shut all the banks down. Go ahead. Continue. You will end up shutting every activity in Nibu land down. You will shut every activity in the eastern part of Nigeria. We definitely be shut down at last. You think you have the power. The masses have spoken. The people who have the power, who owns the land, have spoken. And anytime we call a city at home, everybody must obey. They must obey. Your threats cannot work. Look the threats. Watch. Maybe some of you have not seen the video. Watch the video. That is what Obiano is doing. A governor in the part of Nigeria. The only thing he know how to do now is to threaten those who are doing this down. But the reason for that sit at home, he has not addressed it. He is not bold enough to address the reason why these people are sitting at home. Why are they calling for sit at home? Have you addressed that reason? Our Supreme Damasin Nandi Kano, who is asking for nothing but self-determination, which is in the law of Nigeria, and referendum. 
there is no crime he has committed. He has not killed anybody. He has not killed anybody. Neither has he taken any life. They arrested him. They kidnapped him from Kenya, brought him into Nigeria, refused to bring him to court. And today, you are not talking about it. You are only concentrating on talking about people who are telling the world what is happening in Nigeria by their seat at home. You have stopped us from protesting outside. We are not protesting any longer. We chose our protest to protest by sitting at the home. It's not enough for you. Now you are threatening. You are going to face, you are challenging the spirit of Biafra. You are challenging the spirit of Biafra. And the spirit of Biafra will take you out. The spirit of Biafra will take you out. It is not going to be long. It is not going to be for too long. Your spirit of Biafra will take you out. As many as are fighting against Biafra, making sure that we do not actualize Biafra, making sure that our children of Mazin Narikan is not free, the spirit of Biafra will take them out. Just as Mazin Narikan have always said, every single soul that have said over their dead body will Biafra come, will surely go out because Biafra is coming faster than ever. This is the time for all of them to die because they have signed their own death warrant. So shall it be. It doesn't matter what you say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. Our Supreme Lama Zinari can have laid a strong foundation which we are following. And nobody can change that foundation. Nobody can change that foundation. That is what we are holding on to get our freedom. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. May Chukwo Kukabiyama guide and protect our Supreme Lama Zinari Kano. May Chukwo Kukabiyama bless our Supreme Lama Zinari Kano. May Chukwo Kukabiyama give our Supreme Lama Zinari Kano good health. Give him strength wherever he is. Very soon, we believe that Asuna Mazin Nankano is coming out. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. The spirit of Biafra have taken charge. And Chukwo Kabiyama, who have given him that assignment, will bring him out very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. I remember this. Bye-bye. See you again on the next video. Oh, Mary,